And hey, you guys, it's me, Marissa. Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Blox Hotel. And today has been a very special day. So, you know how I've been telling guys constantly about how I've been meaning to try pumpkin soup? Well, today I had pumpkin soup. Like, just like 30 minutes ago, I had pumpkin soup and it was absolutely delicious. And I'm going to be telling guys about it. Um, also, I've got here a can of vanilla coke no sugar. This is one of my favorite drinks. Oh, I mean, aside from Monster and like flavored Mogu Mogu, but this is delicious. I really endorse having Coke Zero Sugar vanilla flavor. You really need to savor the taste. Um, anyways, so you see, today it was a cold day because it's winter. Originally, we were gonna have fish tacos, but then my mom, she was like, oh, you know, I think that I can be bothered making the pumpkin soup today. And so we got the stuff that you need to make pumpkin soup. Here are the ingredients that you need to make pumpkin soup. You need a bit of butter, like about like that, that much butter, like just a, a tiny bit of butter. It was probably only like 50 grams. Um, you'll need a bit of olive oil or something. And you want a pumpkin, of course, and you also need some garlic. You need three garlic cloves chopped up and diced and really thinly. And then you need a leek. I think that's what it's called. The but like the on the the you know how there's like the leaves and then there's the roots and then there's the white bit. You just want to get the white bit and then you want to chop that up as well. I'm not sure how much you need. Um, and then you also want some carrots and like about like that much of an onion we used. Like, you know how that's an onion? You only use like that much. Um, and, and with the carrot, I don't know how much carrot you need, but you need a bit. Uh, what else do you need? You need sage and some pepper and some salt and you can put a bit of cream in if you want to. And hmm, what else do you need? I don't really remember. Um, Wait, no, there was one other seasoning. Never mind, I cannot remember. Actually, uh, wait, no, that was probably just the salt. Um, anyways. And then you want to put it all into a pot. You want to melt the butter. For oh, yeah, you also need bacon. Um, and so basically you just want to, like, you want to put it all in the pot. Well, you want to put in the butter and the oil first and then have that simmer and then you want to put in all of the vegetables and then you want to like stir that around make sure it's really nice and and yeah and then once that's done you want to chop up the pumpkin it takes forever to chop up the pumpkin but because it's really solid um and then you want to put that in there as well and you can put like order oh yeah that's right you also need chicken stock so basically you get two teaspoons of chicken so like two heaps tablespoons of chicken s stock and then you want to put in like three cups of boiling water well you can put in some more if you want just a lot of water in that and then you want to you want to put that into the pot and then the the pumpkins in and then you just want to have that simmer for like a few hours like steam it, like put the pot lid over it so that it can like cook and whatnot and so that it gets like, what's it called? Soft. And then after a while you can turn the heat back on and then you like blitz it and then you put the cream in and then you can blitz it and then you fry up the bacon and then you put the bacon in um, and then and then you can put a bit of salt in and it, it's really nice. It tastes like pumpkin. And then we had it with, like, this fancy bread. I don't know what it's called, but it's, like, the puffy bread. It's, like, puffy and it's nice. It starts with a C. I forgot what its name was, but it was fancy. I endorse having pumpkin soup. I told my mom that we should incorporate having the pumpkin soup into our daily meal plan. Um, speaking of things that I have incorporated into my life, um, I, I have a mat. I have a mattress over there, like a, a foamy one for doing exercises. Because my treadmill broke and I'm sad about that, I like to do 35 minutes of vigorous, like weightlifting and calisthenics, calisthenics, calist, cal the, the press up stuff. I forgot the name of it for 35 minutes straight. And I'm, I think that it's fun because I made a playlist. 
And it has my favorite workout songs on there. So I listen to that as I'm doing my bat stuff. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all these updates. Bye-bye.